hello everybody welcome back to the channel as you can tell what today is and yes the Packers play tonight just came off of a bye and we are four and zero welcome to all my new subscribers thank you so much for tuning in today i have a fun collaboration video for you thank you to those who continue to tune in from week to week i greatly appreciate it today's collaboration is with kim uh, from dorothy's daughter here on youtube uh we had spoke a few months ago actually when the um when the pattern was on sale maybe this was back in April, um, we had talked about doing a collaboration. And so when that pattern um, released, it was on sale, a feature Friday, I believe. And I decided to pick it up because I was like, oh yeah, this looks like something fun I will want to do for football season. Duh. And then um, Kim did a video showing where she got the fabric and different stuff like that. And um, so I was like, hey, let's do a collab on this since we we're trying to figure out something to collab on. So thank you so much, Kim, for um, doing the collaboration with me. So much fun. Of course, I am a huge NFL fan for those who do not know. And yes, I am originally from Wisconsin, although I live in Texas right now. Huge Green Bay Packer fan. I'm huge NFL fan. So yes, um, let's jump right into it. I will leave a link either in the iCards or down below. You need to go check out um, Kim's video because she actually, um, she may repeat it. I'm not quite sure in this video, but catch her. I'll link both the videos because she talks about where she got the fabric, um, how she um, did her designs on the front and all of that. So really good information. You might want to go check that out if you haven't already. But today is the game day jerseys. And yes, by Love Notions. And I have done one for myself and one for my husband. Of course, I have my on right now. Um, it was so funny. Side note. Um, well, not funny. Just a little inconvenient, but it's all good. We went and took our pictures and did all this other different stuff. And wouldn't you know, our vehicle wouldn't turn turnover um and so got jumper cables and everything and still wouldn't turn over so now we're kind of waiting for the praise god we have two vehicles so it's it's not a, a loss that way but um praise god we have um towing so towing to be here um they said about 90 minutes and the thing is where um we take pictures is less than a mile from the house so all we did was just walk back home get in our other vehicle take the jumper cables try to jump it, it wouldn't turn over it might be the alternator or whatever but doesn't matter we just thank god it was close by it wasn't at an inconvenient place or time or anything like that um and so yeah but anyway life happens that is nothing to get worked up over so anyway let's jump into this here this should be relatively quick because there's not a whole heck of a lot to say i want to share where i got all of my um patches and you know little tips and things that maybe that I picked up along the way. First, let's talk about this fabric. So I did pick up my fabric from the same place um, for the jersey knit, um, football jersey. So if you are a football fan and you have football jerseys or anything like that, you, that material, this particular place has that type of material. And so um, it's called Peacock Textiles. Now, I will say up front, not a fan of their customer service um and i will tell you why in a second so i had grand plans for this video i was gonna um i was gonna uh do a particular look i had a particular look in my mind um that i wanted to do and execute i was going to show you um my um brother scan and cut because you guys ask about it a lot and i was going to show you with my heat press that you know i have how i did everything and just was going to be a whole to do well there were issues with the fabric. So what I had in my mind, what I wanted to do, wouldn't be executed the way I wanted. So I'm going to save all of that for another, because I'm doing more, definitely doing more um, for the future. So at any rate, so I knew I wanted this green. For those who know anything about Green Bay, um, the green for the most part in most of the um, Green Bay Packer apparel is a very dark, dark green like this. Um, it's not a light green and all this other different stuff. You know, you can have some variations, but not anything too stark or contrast. So I knew what I was looking for. So Peacock Textiles had this jersey knit. Um, 
and this is really wide fabric it's a it's over 60 inches wide um <clears throat> and um i knew i wanted this green and i i wanted a another knit because i was going to do something different again i'll save that and so this color is called kelly green and so they had other knits also called kelly green on the website which was supposed to be comparable um i could have easily missed the fine print um but i didn't expect some wide variation so when my fabric came this is the kelly green that came with this kelly green these are two different greens and i'm glad i started this process I was sourcing fabric and stuff back in August and September. So when it came, I was like, oh my gosh, those are two totally different greens that don't match. And no, we don't play that. When we're doing our jerseys and our um, our gear, uh, we want it to be, you know, cohesive. And so I reached out to Pico Textiles and just said, hey, this green is not the same color green. Um, and I gave the benefit of the doubt, perhaps, um, even though the name is is the same in the color variation, <clears throat> I said, is there another green that's closer to this, what you have in stock, this color? And the guy responded to me, um, that's all we have. And so I replied back, literally, that's all the customer service, the guy said. Um, I f forget his name, doesn't matter. Um... And I said, well, can you check your inventory to see what color green that you have that matches this that I can get in this weight knit? Because these are two different types of knits. And he responded, all we have is what's on the website. I didn't even reply. I was like, <clears throat> and just left that alone. So I decided <laughs> in my infinite wisdom to go to a totally different website because I was looking for a different type of knit for what I was planning on doing. Cause I wanted to do a dress and I had all this stuff in my mind. And so I decided to order some from fabric.com. And I, I was like, okay, it could be darker. It could be lighter than what is shown on the screen. That's fine. So I went with the darkest one that I saw on the screen and figured if it comes up a shade or two light, hopefully it'll match no no and no so yeah that's okay so i decided i'm scrapping this whole but my original idea and i'm just gonna go with doing both entire jerseys in this knit instead and leave it at that so the knit around the um, stripes are knit fabric um white and yellow that i had in my stash and um what i would say is what i was going to show is you don't have to use the knit in order to do the stripes you could have just used um heat transfer vinyl cut it up in strips and just heat pressed it on the fabric and this fabric would have taken um a heat press and so that's one of the things i was going to show you that um i did um but let me start with the husbands because i pretty much did the same thing for the both of us you will notice that there is a G. Let me hold that up close in the front. And then you have the packers in the back. So let me talk about where I did get the appliques from. So both of them are from Etsy. I will link the stores below. Um, and the one I ordered two sets. They had quite a few different things in there. They had the helmet, the G, and then the the name packers and so from one place is where i got that where i got this one because this i don't know if you can tell is more of a um that is embroidered that's an embroidered applique this one is just a fabric um applique and so the embroidered one i got from a different etsy shop and um everything came really fast because i had to switch up on the dime what i was going to do and so the reason i decided to go for this look and we both had the same look so it's nothing different there but this is one of my husband's other jerseys and you can see it has the nfl logo right there that's where i got the idea to put the g there and I was going to put our last names in 01 and 02 on the back. And it, the look I was originally doing did not work out. So this 
worked out instead. And so this is what I did. Both shirts were super duper easy to put together. Nothing complicated. The only thing, if you, the instructions call for you to glue this down to hold this in place. I did not use glue. I use heat bond. Um, the the heat bond, I um, marked where the stripes would go, laid the heat bond down, and then put the fabric over it and just pressed it down instead of um, using glue and then trying to stitch it. I thought that would have been just doing a little bit too much and might distort the stripes in some way. So instead I just used heat bond um, to put those down. Everything sewed up for both very easily. I would say two to three hours if that, cause I was doing other things in between putting these together um to finish these off so not long projects at all um oh the ribbing around the neckband i got that from etsy as well and this is how it came like this and i forget how long this was it's not very long maybe a yard and it's like six inches wide so i just put that piece the v piece over you know folded it and then put the v piece down and cut it and so that is basically it so yeah that is basically it there's not a whole heck of a lot to say or show I top stitch the stitching worked out fine I used my stay tape um, because when you're trying to fold this under you definitely want it to be stable so I just use the stay tape everything is surged and then just turned under so yeah, there is not a whole heck of a lot to say. Again, very easy to put together. I did lengthen my husband's by two inches because it was a little short. So I used his um, other jersey and just measured because he liked the length of that just to make sure that this his came up long enough. I didn't lengthen mine. Um, I wanted mine to be a little oversized. I did use the full bust um, pattern piece for mine. Um, I, oh, I didn't tell you what size I cut for me. Mine is a 3XL and the husband's is an extra large. And so, um, yeah, I didn't bother with doing the high bust measurement because I wanted mine to be, jerseys are meant to be, you know, kind of boxy and oversized. So. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show is because I had a little boo-boo with um my split over here i just added this little yellow um with the heat bond knit on both sides just so it was consistent so yeah that's it everybody thank you so much for tuning in today stay tuned for wednesday i have a i have some holes in my closet i'm going to share those and talk about that on wednesday but that is it that's it nice short simple to the point make sure you go check out kim's video and yeah thank you everybody for tuning in today if you have any questions leave them down below two thumbs up for this pattern i definitely highly recommend it i'll leave a link to it down below as well but thank you everybody for tuning in and we will see you on wednesday go pack go